Now, coming back to your story as an intelligence officer, mm. you served in this uh, uh, unit for, uh, for how many years? 10 years. 10 years. Mm. Then all of a sudden, James is no longer part of the intelligence team. Mm. Actually, James is no longer an officer anymore. Yeah. What really happened? Uh, I'll cut. There's a longer story. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that thing is still there in the police service. But uh, if you... You are a close relative of a senior police officer. Mm -hmm. uh, things were like day or night. Mm -hmm. You'd find yourself just, I, I can say it's like uh, a desert. Mm -hmm. A desert in, at noon, it is 60, six, 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. But at midnight, it is freezing. Mm -hmm. So depending on whom you, you can meet somebody who was very close to your father. Mm -hmm. You are treated like a prince. Mm -hmm. You meet somebody who was an enemy of your father, you, you regret joining the force. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's a long story. Uh, we, we had uh, tribal clashes in Molo. Mm -hmm. In 1992, mm -hmm. we had tribal clashes in the Band Forest. Mm -hmm. We had tribal clashes in Mount, K Mount Elgon. Mm -hmm. And we had cla clan problems mm -hmm. in Narok. In Narok, we had Syria and Muitanik fighting. Mm -hmm. But that was inter-clan. Mm -hmm. But then there was these uh, inter-tribal clashes in Molo, Band Forest and Eldoret, mm -hmm. and uh, Kitale. And the people would tell, we, we, we could discuss. Mm -hmm. But you see, Kenya during Moist time, there was a lot of these uh, woga. Mm -hmm. They said, hey, you to me. Unambia, why don't you tell them? It has a mechanic. That is how it was. Then one day, I challenged my colleagues, mm -hmm. told them, can we sit down? Mm -hmm and write a detailed report. What you are saying is a very important thing we can write to the government. Mm -hmm. Why don't we write? I eat a letter sheet. Then uh, I told them, suppose I write. We'll assist you in writing, but on one condition. It's why Julikana, we are connected to that. Mm. Uh, then uh, I went and saw the deputy provincial boss was called uh, Rafael Kaino Kimayo. Mm. I went at the briefly. He listened to that. But I remember one, one very important thing I was telling him was that uh, we have a tribe in Uganda called Sebei. Mm. And we have a tribe in Kenya called Sabaot. Mm. Sebei and Sabaot is like Maasai and Samburu. Mm. If you are an outsider, you can't differentiate them. But then 1992, there was an attempt by Kanu. Mm -hmm. To register a lot of Ugandans who are Sebeis as Kenyans so that they the, the influence the, the votes. Mm -hmm. So they, 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 they called these people uh, they, and, I, and I advised that uh, if you do that, strangers from another country who are used to guns, there will be a lot of cases of gun, and then you bank robberies with that gun. Mm -hmm. It later happened after that. So when I, 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 when we wrote that detail, I, in fact, I, I played a very little role. We sat down as a group, we discussed everything, was, even drafting was not even my handwriting. Mm -hmm. We drafted, we agreed, and then they told me, kwa jilu umekubali kujeka kwa shida, that's up to you. Then I took the draft to the typing pool, mm -hmm. it was typed, I took it to Rafael Kaino Kimayo, gave it to him. Rafael Kaino took it to Nyati House, the national office. <clears throat> the answer came from Nyati House. Kwani uh -huh. <laughs> inspector. He's supposed to be a superintendent, but uh, because he's young and uh, young in age and inexperienced, why don't you make him a chief inspector? 
that is why I was sacked. Nothing more. Wait a minute. Mm. The details of the whatever you wrote. Yeah. Nindinu luko meandika, luko na una complain na mo luko na sima nini? It was an overview uh -huh. where I was giving a, a, a whole picture uh -huh. that the government is supposed to. It is, it is one day I woke up and asked my colleagues, why, why are we discussing these things and we don't pass it to up there? Uh -huh. And they told me, soon as you are to petition. <laughs> yeah. So I said, but what? And then we reached a place where they said, if you're insisting that we must write, uh -huh. then uh, we will write, but it will be seen as if it is only you alone. Uh -huh. Now she said, uh -huh. So that is when I took it up. But when, uh, and you know, Rafael Kaino Kimayo uh -huh. was a personal friend to my father. Uh -huh. So when he decided to recommend that I be promoted to chief inspector, uh -huh. he they they thought at an at eh nyinyi wale wale amuna relatives ko police sasa kuna siku mtapata promotion si wale baba zao wana nini so that is when it was planned be, without me knowing to trap me talking anti moi huh. and anti system that was when it was planned and two officers came it was a day when i was very busy the office for 12 hours. It was an, oh, those who know where the special branch office was, next to Stagzet Hotel, and there is a Ahuru Park somewhere in, in Nakuru. The office was somewhere there. And uh, it was very far. You could not go to a hotel, uh -huh. not go anywhere. So for 12 hours, I could not even, it was only that water from the tap that I could handle. Then from there, I went to the police canteen, ordered some beef to be prepared. As I was waiting, I started taking a pilsner. Huh. When I started taking pilsner, two officers came. Mm. One was called John Cabo, and the other one was called Faris Moriasi. Mm. Moriasi, unfortunately, is no longer with us. Mm. Um, Cabo came with a bottle, 300 milliliters of whiskey. He broke the seal while I was seeing, and then poured he poured the whiskey into my drink, mm -hmm. into my pills now. I saw him placing there. I did not stop him because I wanted to get drunk, but I didn't know that my getting drunk was connected to a trap. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you're drunk, you talk. <laughs> mm. So that is when they started talking. And uh, if I were to talk to Ruto, if I were to meet him one-on-one, -on -one, I would tell him, He's luckier than me. Because when Kibaki was being buried, mm. Ruto said that Kibaki is the best president ever. Mm. In the presence of his boss, his boss could not sack him. But when I said that uh, Kibaki is the best president Kenya will ever have, my boss sacked me. <laughs> That's life. Mm. Mm. So in short, uh, alcohol cost you your job. Uh, no. I got drunk a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But uh, in law, mm -hmm. I committed one offense. I, oh, no, no, actually, in law, I committed, in, in, I committed one disciplinary offense. Mm -hmm. I talked partisan politics. Mm -hmm. But Kabong and Moriasi. Mm. They committed three. Mm -hmm. And instead of action being taken against them, they were promoted. One thing, mm -hmm. you are not supposed to spike anybody's drink. Mm -hmm. That's a crime. You have to ask for permission. Two, they started political talks. They started. If you check my file, I, asked, I made sure that the, the evidence was clear. And I was asking them, because each one came while giving the evidence. You know, disciplinary wise, it is handled the way it is handled in courts. Mm. And I asked them, is there any sign that, uh, well, first of all, who started the political talks? The say Moriasi started political talks. Mm -hmm. And is there any sign that if Moriasi would not have started politics, I would not have discussed politics. They say, 
most likely would not have started. So in law, that is an offense called agent provocateur. Mm. So first, they spike my drink. Two, the act as agent provocateur, it's covered by law. It was a setup. It was a setup. Uh -huh. The Ministry of Justice and Kiraito Morongi and Jeru Gidai reviewed my case and said that was me, uh, what, what in law is called mistrial. Mm -hmm. And they told Major General Hussein to conduct a fresh hearing with an intention of clearing me. It mm -hmm. has never happened. It has never happened. You are just sucked that way. That way. No, no nothing will end up on cover to you. Watch even my furniture was. They took the only gun my furniture when I was just there. Furniture in the house. I was told to carry what I could carry. And what I could carry was a TV. Zilikuwa hizi color TV za mgongo. I carried a, a 14 inch color TV. I carried a VCR. Uh -huh. I carried my clothing. Just that. And when, which year was that? That was uh, 93. Who were cut when all that happened? Mm. Hadi Sahi, mm. have you tried seeking for justice and how far are you from gaining this justice? There is no single day. Mm -hmm. I've gone to sleep mm -hmm. without asking God mm -hmm. to have justice. Okay, I've been praying mm -hmm. that justice be done. I mm -hmm. go back to my work. Mm -hmm. But 2021, July, came and went. Mm -hmm. From 2021 July, I've always been praying mm -hmm. that the justice be done, reparations be done while I am alive. It would be unfair mm -hmm. for reparations to be done to my family when I'm gone. I don't think Huatengeres would uh, enjoy it when I'm not there. It is better for it to be brought the reparation when I'm alive to Kule Pamoja. Mm -hmm. So that Tata, because I'm getting old, so that Tata Kibaki in Guinea, she continues eating it when I'm gone at a Gundo Kamba Nilionja. But this thing of when somebody is dead, that's when you find newspaper going there, everybody crying, why have you forgotten him? I wouldn't want that. Um, mm -hmm. It is a very easy thing. Either the National Police Service Commission reopens the case, what is called a re retrial, mm -hmm. retrial, and finds that uh, injustice was done to me and quashes that. Or we, we do it the Professor Koech way. Professor Koech started Camry from from the ground. Mm -hmm. Everything in Cambridge started. What, what Chesoni did to the Electoral Commission is what Koichi did. And even Koichi did better than Chesoni. But then one day he got some millions here hanging and he pocketed it, which is a crime. And he was jailed. The president granted him a pardon. In law, he never committed a crime. It has been, why can't they do to us such things? Or if you look at the physical condition of Professor Koech, are you people wait? Me, I'm, age does not allow me, but if you tell me to go to Kiganjo for three months, I can rush. I'm healthy. Why don't you give me why don't you give me my rights when I'm alive, when I'm healthy? Ni wanasema kwa Kiswahili ni zike nikiwa hai. Ni onje kitu kidogo ni jiteme mate mi mwenye. Yeah. So, your main message to the current government under President William Ruto mm. and the IG of police, uh, Japhet Kome, is that... And the National, po and police, the National Service police Service Commission yeah. is to quash my conviction mm -hmm. and declare it a mistrial. Justice was... It was injustice was done to me mm -hmm. 
and let me get what is rightfully mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a... We are recording this thing when we are having El Nino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had occasions when my things have been thrown out of the house and I stay there with my wife and kids and we are rained on and the things and the house is locked and whatever. And uh, let it be that uh, for the remainder of my years, let uh, my understanding of the current situation is that the IG has limited powers, but the National Police Service Commission under His Excellency the Commander in Chief, do you want my family to get my dues when I'm not there, or do you want me? To get my dues while in a wheelchair, kindly give me my dues so that I can go to Diani, Nikunyo Madafu Kwa, Indian Ocean. Next time I go to Masai Mara and spend my last days on the earth happy. I think Huatenge race would be happier. Kukula is on a minute. Please, these things you get, and this thing is being recorded. Mm. You want, when I'm in the deep freezer, this, if everybody starts playing this step again, and, uh, this thing is there in Kenya. Oh, mumiacha sasa huyo. Paka mekufa sasa ndi umunakimbia huku na huku. Nizike nikiwa hai. Give me something. Niende ni nunue kambuzi. Nika chome tu hapo peke yangu na kwa tengeresu. Watoto wa mikuwa kubwa. <laughs> and um, all, the, all the troubles you have gone through ever since you got dismissed from the service, mm -hmm. how has it affected you? Um, we should have... I remember in my YouTube, mm -hmm. when I talked about some things, I showed... There's something that I showed her at Angeres, and she got annoyed. Mm -hmm. But I explained to her. Mm -hmm. Of course, she, we got married after I'd left service, so Mamboya Askari Ajui San. But uh, there's somebody who said, you are a hero. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you deserve uh, whatever, whatever funeral, what do you call it? Honor's funeral, something like that. And you see what I guess, she didn't understand that. Uh, but I told her that whoever had written that, I think he has a military background. It shows that uh, when, when the disciplined forces give you that kind of funeral, it's, uh, the, that is the highest honor they have. Mm -hmm. uh, it is really bad for you to sleep in a dry riverbed with your colleagues, you come out, a few of them are dead, you go to Northeastern, your, you, your colleagues die around you, and then when they come to... If, okay, forget about me. Even those Ascaris who, who have done that and later you decide you no longer need them, don't treat them like dogs. Don't treat them like dogs. I want to use this opportunity to thank the officers at Riruta Satellite Police Station for this time. These are people who visit me and even there are times they come with food stuff and when I jazz up and yumba. So we have policemen who are good but very few. Uh, but let nobody serve his country and then be chased away like a dog. Even if he has done wrong, treat him well, yeah. So, unasema wakati amba, kuna wakati ambapo you have slept hungry? Mm. Not even sleeping hungry. Uh -huh. At the time of recording this, uh -huh. it's during El Nino. Uh -huh. And uh, there are occasions when my house has been locked, uh -huh. my things have been thrown out, Mambo ya Ford com. Anyway, my things have been thrown out. Ninaka kwa sofa set, mvue na nyeshe na tuangukia. 
I was talking to a police officer who was saying that if, and I'm using the word if, if you are paid, you are supposed, you are not supposed to be paid house, house rent for all those months and whatever. And I asked him, so zile ni nanyeshewa inje because Fort Com imenifukuza, imenitupa inje. Isn't that even more hardship? I have to be repaid more. But anyway, you talked about Kulala, Kulala Nja. The occasions I've slept, I've seated on my sofa said this way and it is raining outside. See, I think that one is worse than Kulala Nja. You know, Kulala Nja, nobody knows. They just see you entering the house. <laughs> they don't know whether you have had... Uh, mm. But... Uh, Things being thrown out, especially when it is raining, everybody knows and every and you see Nairobi is very funny. Nobody talks. You have a problem with the landlord. Even your next door neighbor feels that uh, it's like you have reprosecuted. Rip and then when you have solved the problem, maybe you, you, you have repaid and you have re-entered the house. That's when they start saying, but that is life. If it has happened once or twice, you feel bad. But when it happens several times, we say like like Wanyika. Wanyika says matatizo to me as well. Yanapokuja imekuwa ni kama kawaida. Wow, that is James. And uh, still about that uh, that uh, issue I've been going through mm. as a former serviceman in the country. Mm. What specific help would you need the government to offer you or rather any Kenyan out there? I'll start with the government. I think just looking at my file, mm -hmm. confirming what I'm saying, because we were talking somewhere and uh, somebody was saying <laughs> it is even possible for the government to come out and say Hwatenga has never been a police officer and uh, terror. It is quite possible. But going to that file, 123-274, verifying what I'm saying, that is the hard part. But after you have verified, why can't the National Police Service just write one statement? that we have we have we have seen the orderly room disciplinary office is called orderly room proceeding we have seen the disciplinary action taken against Hwatenge. was that uh, the injustice of that to him and so we quash that uh, just simple as that i mean the hard part is to verify what i'm saying after verifying just write one sentence we have investigated and found that what you're saying is true and we quash the the conviction. Simple as that. That is the... Uh, meanwhile, the people around, I would say that um, I've written a book which needs uh, publishing. Uh, it is five years old. There are people... Okay, I've reached a place where I have to... And if you look at a book, suppose a book is going for 500 mm -hmm. you'll be shocked that the author gets around 30 or 40 shillings mm -hmm. most of it goes to pep the paper that was printed the ink the whatever the, the distributors the bookshop the whatever mm -hmm. so kenyans are uh, we have so many I, I would even human rights people yeah you rush when when rashid shoots uh, it's funny that kenya human rights commission he, uh, the one which has, uh, it's at Orvalia Arcade. I begged them to finance the publication of this book. But they decided to look for a Ugandan called Kisa Biseje. Mm -hmm. Kisa Biseje was criticizing the 20, 2017 elections in Kenya. So they saw that it, their money was better used to finance a foreigner talking about one election but a Kenyan who is talking about uh, Goroko, Shifta, Wagala massacre, that was not a priority to them. So I, uh, I'll provide the till number to Kenyans mm -hmm. because where we are, 
uh, I only need two things. I need editing. Uh, <laughs> if you send me money for upkeeper, you don't know how long I'll stay. Mm -hmm. So that is giving me fish. But if you give me any, the hook or the net, the hook or the net is, uh, I have to look for a qualified a a a editor to edit my work and I have to publish the book. So there is a pay bill I'll supply so that uh, whatever. And you don't have to send much. Kenya, we have uh, 50 million people. Now, if each one contributes 10 shillings, that is half a billion shillings. <laughs> so, Gaza Kusama 50 Nikidogo says to me, Amutu, send anything that you feel uh, you'll be given the pay bill. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, that is James. And of course, Tim Plug TV na Joe Wam Nacheza Kama Nini. Of course, you can give your till number. What is your till number? Uh, I, I'll supply it. Let me copy it on YouTube, Sindio. Yeah. Let me just uh, uh, read it out. Dio watu wazo kuipata pale kwa YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Till number is 4-11-34-6-6. James Lando Kwatenge. Yeah. Awesome.